Hey folks, it's Grimwit. This is Crypt World. And before we really get started, um, it's day eight, but what I want to do for you guys today will require day ten, which means we need to do a little bit of harvesting. So, I will continue the routine, and it's as simple as rinse, rinse, repeat. Here, I'll show you. Rinse, rinse, repeat. Rinse, rinse, repeat. Huh. I peed on this guy and I did not expect this. He says, this is criminal. I do not support this behavior. Ha <laughs> ha, arg. I, uh, I actually didn't know this was a thing that could happen. It seems that even during my routines, I could learn something new. Apparently, I have peed on this guy so often that he has just given me some gold. He says, gee, gosh, wow, fine, thanks, take this gold. Get out of here, you're standing at the hardwood floors. Hey, hey, stop that. This is something new to me. I didn't realize that you could just pee on people until they give you gold. Huh. I guess it's not for everyone. I have also learned that this is apparently a thing now. You can just pee on balls. There's something fitting about it. Alright, it's a new day. And, yes. We have the bones that I was hoping for. And a whole lot of piss. Let's see, sure I'll, I'll bury a couple of more bones. At this point, bones are the only thing that are hard to get. And we'll just water our garden. And today we have some very bizarre adventures that we need to go through. Whoops, keep missing. First off, as part of the routine, do we have a new dig? Yes, we do. So that will be the first thing we do. That, thank you very much, my man. Start a new dig? No. We'll get to that last dig in time. But for now, let's check out this new city, Scape. Okay. Yeah, sorry developers. I'm gonna add my own music to this. I really don't like the silence. All right, well, we have plenty of trash cans here. Gold bar, a seed, some more gold. Very awesome. And what else is going on downstairs before we go upstairs? Mostly it's just a place to run back to. Unfortunately, there is not a run button. I'm not sure that would even be feasible. How would that look like? We've seen what our bottom looks like. It, it is not a feat, it is just kind of slithering. Are we slithering? Are we fast slitherers? Hey! What's the big idea? Get your hands out of there right now! Gah, the nerve! Is that somebody inside or is it the trash can itself? Hmm. I'll go over there in a second. The jumping puzzles are getting progressively more complicated. Let's try over here first and talk to Indiana Jones here. I don't even think anyone could live in any of these buildings, like honestly. Well, it is very odd that they don't have any doors, just windows. wonder what that means. Ah, another god tier. I have two tiers of god out of three. What mysteries await? What indeed? Let's jump across this place, jump across that place. We could have walked that one. Meat flake, five gold bars. It amazes me that people will just throw away gold. In the darkness, lost secrets await you. There is no escape. As a matter of fact, there is, but I won't tell him that. He seems to be having such a nice time of doom and gloom. What happened to you? Ignore me. It's better this way. As you wish. We have zero crumbs. We have a giant skull. There's nothing over there. I used to think that there might have been a secret passage, but there really isn't. 
it's very difficult to get over there too. Your, your jumping needs to be pixel perfect. And mine never is. Still, it's just for show. I can't even click on that thing, I don't think. Nope. Hello, fellow archaeologists. Well, I'm, I don't hate myself, but hello. I keep trying to find a safe place to hide away from my problems. The thing is, nowhere is safe. You can't run away from yourself, friend. And let's hop over here towards the giant berg. The king berg. That would be my wife. She's talking to me about anime. Alright. It's tradition, usually for my Let's Plays, that she <laughs> texts me at some point. Love you, hun. I love you too, Queenie. That. That door right there is what bothers me. It really does. I've never got to that door. I don't think it's possible to get to that door. I think it might be a joke by the developers to infuriate me. It wouldn't be the first time. That's it for this ruins area. We Let's move on to the next adventure. Oh yes, I forgot about my routine. But I can do this off camera. Alright, after everything is said and done, I sure am rich in seeds, meats, and crumbs. This guy is new. Hello. Fan of the museum. In an expression of my deep appreciation of the stones, I gave one a tender kiss, but was forced to leave. As apparently this is a criminal offense. Is this world so cold as to crush my dreams of true love? Yes, very much so. On day 10, the tunnels change slightly. Hello. Yeah, they, he doesn't say anything new, and I'm going to ride you until the night coffin. We have a new door open. This door. But before I go in there, there's another person we need to talk to. I call it the Berg Shrine. Probably because it's a shrine to Bergs. What do you have to say about this? The smoke lifts, and from the heart of the flames I can hear the Berg whisper. It's telling me, The end is nigh. I mean, nay. Nah, sorry. But what does it mean? Well, it could mean practically anything. Hmm. There's a lot of the end of the world stuff here. Can I piss on that? Oh lordy. That lags out my thing. Wow, things are clippy here on here. I would piss on that guy, but I have further plans for him. In the meantime, let's rock out. It is time to finally see what's behind this mysterious door. I think you might see that it is computer fun. Hello there. I don't see anything that I can talk to. You look very glam. Have you seen uh, the Phantom of the Paradise? For some reason this computer reminds me of the Phantom of the Paradise. This thing has a very surprised look on its face. Let's grab it. The PORP says, spread my form to all writhing worms and infest my tunnels. Oh, that infest my tunnels. Let them not go to waste. Now, go. There are ten left. Are there? I'm going to give you a small taste of what I call the tedium quest. First, you have to find somebody to click on. Let's say, this good gentleman right here. I should have talked to him before, uh, before doing this to him, but now I don't really have a choice. Yes, assimilate, assimilation of the form is all I desire. Return for another helmet and remove these disgusting insects from my halls. 
Well, I don't see anything unreasonable about that. He says, beep boop. All of the cyborg pilgrims will say beep boop. It will be a land of beep boop. You will see. I'm not sure if this tedium quest is a message about how subquests can get kind of boring after a while. It might be a, an expression, or it just might be an afterthought. Wouldn't it be funny if we turned everybody in the tunnels into a cyborg? What is that? Like, uh... Two? Yeah, that was two. Well, I don't really see any reason for you people to suffer anymore. You don't deserve to be bored. So I'll just speed this up real quick. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Oh, you've been spared. Nine. And finally, ten. My perfection has enveloped this wasteland. This is only the first step towards Universal Unbound. I wonder what a Universe Unbound looks like. Is Universe into bondage? Come see me in my chamber for your reward. You may carry my form within you now, and devour all in our glory. Well, that sounds remarkably like... Uh, I don't know. Maybe this is uh, something about religion? There's an awful lot of religious subtext in here. But most of it is... Whoa. Whoa, that's, that's kind of nifty. Ooh, it's, it's got bionic eyes. Yeah. I will gladly accept this gift. You're a cyborg now. You have increased physical ability. Can hack and piss oil. Wow. Maybe if I piss in a fire, it'll create a, an even bigger fire. The excitement will never end. And since there's no contrast to the excitement, no boring, then the excitement is as good as boring. The, this body, free of flaws, a force against organic decay, will make us one. You must go now on, on your journey. I have more important places to convert now. Oh, that was very nice of them. Him. Porp is a, is a pretty, pretty cool being, I guess. He's pretty cool. Ah, yes. The first thing you should do as soon as you become a oil-pissing... Yeah. An oil-pissing cyborg is... We have a new option. Hack. It will give us a wallet and a piss upgrade. I think both of which we need very much. We got a wallet and a piss upgrade. You can now carry up to 500 piss. I'm sorry, that says gold. And 400 piss. Are they interchangeable? Better get collecting. My bladder is pleased by this. You don't say anything new, do you? Nope. Nope. Okay, let's see. I have six bones. That should be enough. And we've uh, converted the entirety of the tunnels, except for two skeletal pig pilgrims. That's fine. Of course, since it's the fifth day, that also means that uh, Elizabeth of the Woods has shown up. All right. Yay. What is it we desire? Well... We've already had our fortune told, and to be honest, I'm not too keen on knowing what's going to happen before it happens anyway. It takes the fun out of it. I could get a goddess relic, and that would complete our set, but... I don't know, I don't think I'm quite ready to end the game just yet for you people. So, let's do the tape ritual. We need five bones, here's five bones. She says, a, myth a mystical tape. The rare, unreleased Director's Cup version of Horrible Screaming Murderer 4. Treasure this with you always. Whoa. Look how it shines. Or rather, how it doesn't. Thank you, Elizabeth of the Woods. We will use this to great effect.
You have obtained a very valuable VHS. Someone may be looking for this rare item. Maybe try getting it signed too? Well, it is the 11th day, and uh, the horrible screaming murder shows, happens to show up on my lawn every third day. So I should probably go ahead and run a routine, and then, then we'll see what happens tomorrow. Seems last episode I lied. I said that I was going to glitch out the game. But as it turns out, the episode became too long and I had to cut it into two parts. So you'll have to wait until next time to see what that looks like. Until then, you guys relax and have a nice pee today. It'll help you. It'll help your bladder and it'll help you just feel better.